everyone, so I am going to do another ser or another video in the series of fall essentials. This is footwear and I do want to put a disclaimer out there. These are, should I say, boots that I wear and they're not going to be in everyone's style. I don't have a boot or a shoe for everyone's style for fall. This is just what I'm wearing all fall. Um, so I'm just throwing that out there. I don't want you guys to think I'm saying this goes with everyone's style because it definitely doesn't. Um, but I am the owner of like 20 pairs of boots. So in this video, I'm going to show you six of them. Um, if you hear some noise, my kittens are right there playing. Um, so they're being a little loud right now and Skimble is chewing on one of the boots. Anyway, I'm just going to get started. Um, I'm going to start with the number one most worn pair of boots that I own. Actually, no, it's not the most worn pair of boots. Um, it's the ones I'm going to wear the most out of all of them um, for the fall. And they have been, this season, the ones that I've been wearing every day. Like every day at least this week, every day last week, every day. And that are, um, they are my Forever 21 studded boots. They're called the Workman boot, I believe. Um, studs are already falling off, but I don't really care. It kind of adds to that look. These are the most comfortable shoes I own um, with insoles because they are cheaply made. Um, they're like $27, I think. You guys calm down. They're um, $27, and so I wear insoles in them, and it gives them like the perfect comfort level for me. And gosh, um, so they're just absolutely amazing, and they are seriously my life. They're not real leather. I wish they were. Wish they were higher quality. <laughs> My cat's in every video. What did I say? I always film during playtime. What is this? Oh my gosh. This today when I came home. Sorry for the little diversion. You can fast forward if you want to. Today when I came home, they actually ran up to me like a dog, and was like all lovey and jumpy on me. Like I've never seen cats do that before, and I've had cats my whole life. These cats are amazing, they act like dogs. So for you dog people, cats can be like dogs too, just so you know, they can be just as fun. Moving on, um, I don't really know. I think I'm gonna go with these ones. Um, these are the next pair of boots that I'm gonna wear a lot. I've had these for about three years and I've worn them out, like worn them to shreds. They are literally shredding if you can see this here. I just like these because no matter what kind of jean I'm wearing, it'll fit inside the boot shaft because these are so flexible. It's real leather and I've worn them so much that it's just so like soft. It's like really soft leather. Um, and then it has nice little buckle detailing there. I just like, they're like a simple basic boot to me. Simple, you know, round toe, nothing too fancy about them. So I wear these with a lot of outfits um, because they fit with any kind of jean and they're just super comfortable. Um, they're from Aldo by the way. And they were like three years ago so they don't make these anymore. Um, but Aldo do a lot of similar type boots, so you can try and find something similar. Um, all of these are black, by the way, all black boots. The next one I'm going to show you is another pair from Forever 21, and these are the knockoff Jeffrey Campbell, which I think were originally a knockoff of some other designer, and they're my studded ones. Um, I forget what the actual name of the Jeffrey Campbells are, but on the Jeffrey Campbells it has a cross. I'm not a fan of crosses um, in any sort of style. I just I'm not religious, and I feel like it's a religious symbol. So even if it's popular as a fad right now, I'm not gonna wear it. Type of thing. Um, but these are just amazing. They're not that comfortable. They're a little bit small because um, they ran a little bit small. I almost didn't get them, but I've actually worn them more than I thought I was going to. Um, I didn't get them because, or I didn't almost get them because I didn't think I would wear them that much because they're really bold for me, but I actually love these boots so, so, so much. They just really make any look really edgy and they're just really edgy boots and I love them. Again, you can wear them with any kind of jeans, skinny jeans tucked in or just any kind of jeans um, tucked over and you can just see the toe because the toe is like amazing detailing. So, and they're actually pretty well made for being from 21 and I think I paid $25 for these so that's a really good deal but I wear these a lot. Uh, the next ones are of course my famous Doc Martens and Doc Martens are such a good investment. They do run large to size so definitely size down. I didn't do that and so these are extremely large. Um, these are size 8 which is my normal shoe size but they are really really big. What are you doing? Huh? I don't know. They're really big, so I have to wear like chunky socks with them for them to be 
really comfortable. Um, but I really love the Doc Martens. I think they're really nice and casual and comfortable um, and really cute. And I feel like if they were my size, they'd be a little bit smaller. So um, they'd be a little bit less clunky. But I really like them. And they're a good investment because the leather will last you your whole life. It's really high quality shoes. It's worth the price for sure. And I feel like it's a classic style. They've been worn for many, many decades and will continue to be worn because so many celebrities and fashion icons wear them continuously throughout the decades. So I definitely think they're worth the investment. I'm not going to go out of style anytime soon, even if they do. I think it's a pretty basic stylish boot that you can wear with a lot of outfits. I have a whole video on styling these, by the way. My style's kind of changed. I still get a lot of comments on that video. I think it's kind of popular right now, um, which is strange because I'm totally not like that anymore. Um, when I look back to my old videos, I swear to God, I'm like, I'm a different person because it's kind of embarrassing, but I'm not going to take them down for you guys. I know you guys like to rewatch or if you haven't seen them yet, but I will link my Doc Martin styling video down below or over here um, because some of you might want to see that, but do keep in mind my style has changed quite a bit since that video. But they're so cute outfits, I still wear them. Okay, the next pair is a rain boot or a wellie. I like calling them wellies. I think that's the English term for them. Um, like the Britain term. These I got at Urban Outfitters for $20 on sale. The inside is hot pink and I love that because you know my style is kind of masculine or at least, you know, I'm wearing men's clothing right now. Um, but it's not necessarily overtly feminine. So I like these because the pink kind of adds some feminine. It has a biker style, so it has the buckles, and it kind of looks like a biker boot, even though it's a rain boot, so I love it. Such a good deal. Absolutely in love. The insole fell out. It's not the best made boot in the world. No idea what my cats are doing right now. Um, it's not the best made boot, but it is, you know, I don't think it's real, well, not real leather, but, you know, it's just not the best quality so I'm glad I got it on sale for $20 instead of like 45 or whatever they were um, but they're really uh, good boots I know Aldo has some rain boots too Urban probably has other rain boots like it and the last pair of boots I'm going to show you are Chelsea boots and these ones I have a love-hate relationship with because I love them and I hate them because they give me the worst blisters on the planet um, right here, especially on the back. They rub so bad on the backs of my ankles. I still have scarring to this day from the day that I wore these. Um, I have scars on the back of my ankles, but they are the cutest boot. And I got these at H&M for like really cheap. I think they were on sale for $11. I'm pretty sure. I did a haul on them. So if you want to look back to a long time ago, um, they were in a haul at one time at one point. Um, but I really love the style in there. Knock off Jeffrey Campbell's, knock off of a lot of brands because a lot of brands are doing heeled Chelsea boots right now. ASOS has some. If you can't find these at H&M, you won't be able to because these are a long time ago. Um, I got these earlier this year, like June, I'd say, April, June. Um, but I love these boots and I want to wear them more and I can only really wear these in the fall. I'd still wear them in the summer. They're still my style in the summer. But because I don't have anything guarding my ankle right here, unless I wore socks, you know, coming out. But if I don't want to have that look, I'm not going to wear it in the summer. At least jeans I can tuck in, you know, really skinny, skinny jeans I can tuck into the boot. And then it won't be a problem here. So these I will try and wear a lot more. I just love the look of Chelsea boots. They're really popular right now in all the blogs, and I love them. So that's my last boot, my last footwear piece that I will be wearing this fall. Of course, I have others like tennis shoes. I have my Toms that I throw on to go get the mail and like other things like that that can be technically put in this video. But those are the ones that I would say are fall appropriate. And fall is my favorite. Fall and winter are my favorite time of year to dress fashion wise because you can just pile on layers and boots. I wear boots year round, as you guys know. And so boots are more appropriate in the winter time than in the summer, even though I still wear them in the summer. But those six boots are definitely my fall essentials for footwear because I don't wear anything else in the fall um, and winter time except for boots because I own so many and that's not even a peek into my collection. I actually have a video on my boot collection which I will also link right over here and down below if you want to see my whole collection of boots, although it has grown since that video, but I do have a lot of boots and I'm actually selling some of the ones in that video. So if you want to get a sneak peek on some boots that I'm going to be selling here in a few weeks, check out that video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave requests for more fall essential videos, um, you know, as far as what you want to see category-wise. And I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.
Bye. Bye.